What's up? What's up? Oh, hey there, sweetie. Yeah. Look at that. You just made this video worth watching. Uh -huh. What is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. We are in the Mega Cab Longhorn, and it's it's a good day. It's freaking cold. It's seven degrees out, and uh, yeah, it's gonna get colder. So that kind of sucks. But we're gonna make the most of it. We've got to film. I've actually got to film a few videos today. But the one that you're gonna be seeing today, we're gonna be installing the SMB cold air intake. Stay tuned. And also, don't forget this giveaway for the 1997 F350 pickup truck ends in. What does it end in three days, I think? By the time you see this video, I think it ends in three days. So do not forget to enter. Definitely go down in the description below, check out the information. These giveaways are legit, they're legal, they're bonded, they're registered, they are completely real. I mean, people are really winning pickup trucks. I mean, this is a real thing. If you guys wanna contact the previous winners, go to my Instagram page, and I have in my bio, um, there's some little bubbles there you can click on, and it shows the trucks that we gave away so far and the winners of those trucks. If you wanna go talk to them, you guys wanna check it out for yourself, I mean, it's, it's the real deal. This is a really, really, uh, cool thing that we do and um, it's just it's absolutely awesome to see the reactions from some of these people that get to win like their dream pickup truck so anyways we're gonna get on down the road here get a few things done and uh, hopefully it turns out to be a very good day so we are in the barn long story short it was a pain in the butt the door is frozen to the crown and so it wouldn't open it like cracked a little bit and then the motor is running door wouldn't open so therefore, we had to drive up to my dad's office, pick up the key to get in the man door, and then I kind of shook the door up and down some more, clicked the buttons a few times and got it to go up. But yeah, uh, killed, about, killed about an hour messing with that kind of stuff. But we are in the shop now, ready to get some stuff installed on the truck. I'm thinking we're gonna install the s &B intake first and see how far we get. We did also pick up some New Napa Legend batteries for the 7.3 here. Which by the way guys, this is the truck you guys could be winning, okay? So the giveaway for this truck ends in three more days. By the time you see this video, there are only three days remaining, okay? So just keep that in mind, do not miss out. A lot of people wait until the last second, last couple hours, and then a lot of stuff sold out by that time. So, I mean, if you guys wanna enter, just enter while you can while stuff is still available. So a lot of stuff's already unavailable, but um, while there's still at least some stuff available, definitely, definitely get your uh, entry put in there. But yeah, so this is the truck. It's on 40s. Anthems, of course, nothing other than Anthems. It's what we run on here. I kind of forgot how many trucks we had uh, with Anthem wheels. We're actually getting some Anthems on this truck. We've got the 22 by 14 Anthem Instigators on this truck. The two-tone 40s, 40-inch Nittos. These are the 22 by 14 um, Anthem equalizers on the Longhorn, the Mega Cab. This truck is just huge. I mean, it is just massive, but. And then we're also gonna be throwing some Anthems on here. I'm not sure what style we're gonna go with, but we're definitely gonna get some on here. And the, oh yeah, and then this truck over here. This truck also has Anthem wheels on it. So yeah, yeah, a lot of Anthem wheels. We like Anthem. Anthem's a really good company to work with. And uh, they take really good care of people, so it's really important to us um, because there's not a lot of companies that treat you quite as good as the people over at Anthem do. So the only challenge with this kind of a install is not necessarily the challenge of actually installing the part. It's really just a challenge of your skin not freezing to the wrenches if there's any kind of moisture on them because it is really cold. We're gonna kick this heater on. It was just on a little bit ago, but I kicked it off for you know filming this part here but it should go fairly smooth um i've done a lot of air intakes usually not that hard to do at all uh, it's just a matter of getting down to the parts and getting it installed but other than that let's get into it and uh get this going
should get lights on in here. Is lighting good? As long as I look good, we're good. <laughs> it's good, Michael's good. Do I look majestic? <laughs> Here's what we did. We took about three hours and we installed the air filter on the truck. <laughs> Is it a hard job? No, it's not a hard job. In fact, it's a pretty easy job. The only problem is, and I know you're all jealous of my cape, my mommy made me this blanket about <laughs> two years ago and I keep it in the back seat of any truck that I own in the winter just in case the truck for some reason leaves me stranded and it's freezing cold. Or if you're out working in the shop and you don't want to throw on your coat but you just want to get warmed up real quick. Anyways, we got the air filter in and why are you getting so close, girl? You're getting all up in my grill with that camera. Anyways, we got it in. It's an S and B air filter, cold air intake. Um, it's just a lot more simple and a lot less moving plastic flappy crappy junk parts inside of it that kind of just congests the whole system not to mention this filter produces so much more airflow um, than the old one does just in general like a lot I think it was like 60 or like 80 percent increased airflow it was something crazy but um, anyways all that aside that's wrapped up that's done the problem that we kept having was A, after you get like to a point where you're just like, I'm just done with this project and you just wanna like not be doing it anymore. Um, you start to just get more and more impatient and then you just start to do more and more stupid things that just make it take longer and longer. The freaking rubber boots that kind of mount up to the turbo and the back of this air box here just kept sliding off. They kept sliding out of place, sliding out of place, sliding. And every time I did that, I'd have to take it all apart, re-put them, reposition them, then redo it. So that's just what took forever. Um, but it's in. It's it's good now. Hopefully the other part that we're going to be installing here in a bit doesn't take that long. I'm going to look at the manual and then just look at how many bolts there actually are and how involved it is. But I can't imagine it would be that difficult because it's eliminating a lot of those stupid things that we were having problems with before. So hopefully it's a much smoother process. But anyways, if you guys want to come over here, I can show you this. So what we're going to be doing to this truck actually is putting some new batteries in it. We're going to do that in the next video that you guys see. But if you want to take a look around this truck, look around this truck, show them around the truck. This truck is up for a giveaway right now. It ends in three days. By the time you see this video, or maybe the day after you see this video, there's only two days left. But um, yeah, beautiful truck, beautiful truck. It's the four-door long bed. It's a I mean, the thing is huge. It's got the 40s on it. I already went through all that stuff with you. We did the tail lights. We still got new headlights we're putting in it. And the only issue that the truck's ever had since I've owned it in the past, well, month and a half, is it needs new batteries, which we just bought. So other than that, we should be all good to go. You guys wouldn't believe how warm this blanket keeps you. It's actually really nice. But anyway, so all that aside, that's where we're at with the truck right now. We're going to get to installing this other part. Now legend has it, these are the best batteries out there for this truck in this area. Oh, you thought it was a joke? Oh, the batteries was legend. Oh, come on. Shh, you're giving it away. Whoa, before I fall off this ladder, I'm going to tell you this. Hopefully you can hear me all right. There's a heater on and it's kind of loud, but this is gonna put a wrap on this video. And I know it may seem kind of like, bro, you got the batteries in, you're not gonna start it up. I know, it might seem that way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a fat thumbs up if you like the intake install and the battery install teaser. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, ending in three, maybe two days if you're seeing this video after. I post it the day after I post it, um, but if you're seeing it the, the day of, three days left to enter the OBS giveaway, which is this truck right here. This wonderful, massive, beautiful, pretty truck. If you want a shot at winning it, every $15 you spend at team-lmp.myshopify.com is another entry to win. Information down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.